All right, guys, welcome back to video two. So we're going to be talking about the installation and configuration of the OSSIM. OK, so the objectives. So we're going to be going over the glossary, the open source components, the deployment architecture, different deployments, which is single versus multi sensor. And then we'll go over the lab overview. OK, so what is some components or what is the glossary that I want to go over here? So if you see those little pictures on the right, we have a sensor, a server, and a logger. So we have these three components that make up the OSSIM, right? So we can also have a all-in-one, as you see here, and we're going to go over um, raw logs, events, alarms, data source, and plugins, and syslog. So all of these components, you know, take up the, the SIM solution. In your SIM solution, you're going to need to know these components, okay? So, you know, you may ask yourself, what is OSSIM, right? So it stands for Open Source Information and Event Management. So you probably know SIM, but this is the open source version. And so there's some components that we, we have inside of OSSIM. We have passive asset discovery. We have active asset discovery. We have OpenVos. We have Circada. We have Nagios. And we have OSSEC, OSSEC, excuse me, which is the host intrusion detection system. Nagios is a, is a network monitoring tool. And then Circada is a network intrusion detection system. And OpenVos is a vulnerability uh, scanner. And, you know, as a penetration tester, as a, you know, offensive person, learning about these tools are definitely going to make you that much better. And I know this is more on the security analyst side to so be a SOC analyst and stuff like that. But these are this is just as good for an offensive person as well, understanding these tools. Okay. So here we have the different deployment the decisions, right? What kind of deployment that you want to do in your environment, if this is a real business or if it's just your lab. So on the left hand side here, we have a single sensor. So these are for like more smaller businesses and, you know, low traffic, low network traffic. You don't get a lot of traffic for a lab or a test environment, just like we're doing. So and also for a single geolocation. So that means if you only have one geo, uh, geographic location, one site, you can just install the single sensor. So now on the flip side of that, so if you have multi-sensors, this is more for medium to larger businesses, right? With higher traffic. And this is a larger environment and more, or if you wanna just create a complex lab. And then if you have multi, uh, multiple, excuse me, multiple geolocations, Right. So as you see on the left, we have the server on the bottom left and it's an all in one. And on the right hand side here, we have a sensor, a server, logger and another sensor. So these are pretty much the all all divided uh, services that reside on each server. OK, so. What is my lab containing? What is my lab set up? You can follow along you know, word by word, IP by IP, click by click, just so you're following along, or you can just use your own schema as well. It's all up to you. So in my lab, we're going to be setting up a sensor, a server, a web server, and a Kali Linux machine. So my networking, what I'm going to be, what, what I'm going to be setting up is my lab subnet is going to be 192.168.100.0 with a slash 24 subnet. My sensor is going to be at 151. My server is going to be at 150. And my web server is going to be at 200. OK. So now if you want to get more information about Alien Vault and their documentations, you can go right here to cybersecurity.att.com slash documentation. And that pretty much, you know, can give you a lot of insight about the tool and all that good stuff. OK, so that's it for now. This is video two. The next video, we're going to be talking about 
what software is needed and where to get the software. So stay tuned and until the next video, have a good one. Thank you.